Today, we're having a conversation with Lana Fong, co-founder and CEO of Hume AI. Welcome, Lana. Thank you. Before I get started, I would like to give a shout out to Mo Ali from Beringa Ingelheim. And he and I will be co-presenting at D-Pharma 2020 on September 22nd. We'll be discussing how to leverage Huma AI's platform for clinical development. Lana, tell us more about the problem you're solving at Huma AI. So it is common knowledge that drug development process is complex, expensive, and slow with 96% failure rate. Part of the problem is the lack of automation, particularly when it comes to data. So the data is all siloed and 80% of them are unstructured. So nobody's happy. So company can't hire enough data scientists and data scientists, instead of um, running complex data analysis as they're hired to do, spend 80% of their time running simple SQL queries for their team members. And the domain experts are frustrated because it takes two to three weeks to get answers to their data. So Huma turns domain experts into their own data scientists. So it's a machine learning enabled um, question answer driven knowledge automation platform. Just ask questions of your data and instantly get answers. So for the very first time, domain experts can have access to their data and insights um, at their fingertips. And then data scientists are happy because they're freed up to do complex analysis and um, even prediction models. So it's a win-win for everybody. Very good. Tell us a little bit about yourself and why you started Human AI. So I came from healthcare and spent over 20 years in precision medicine. Um, I built a pharma business at a company called Genoptics, which was acquired by Novartis. And then I spent several years at Novartis before jumping into the startup world. So my co-founder, Greg Costello, came from tech and is a serial entrepreneur. So he started his career at Apple and he was the team leader that built a core engine for Firefox. So we built Huma to solve some of the challenges we experienced, how to access insight and knowledge in a quick and easy way. There are personal reasons as well. Both Greg and I lost loved ones to cancer. So if we can help accelerate clinical development by mere three months, we will save millions of lives. That seems like a very worthy goal. Can you tell us more about what makes the Huma platform unique? So think of Human AI platform as um, combining the ease of Alexa with the power of true knowledge automation. So it has three key attributes. First, it's self-service because you're using natural language queries. So there's minimum learning curve. So we did training um, of users um, in less than 30 minutes. And secondly, it used natural language to connect all your silos. And now for the very first time, you can actually connect your internal data sources with external ones. So you can get these cross silo intelligence, for example, combining omics with clinicaltrials.gov and real, time, real world evidence. And then lastly, um, it analyzes both structured and unstructured data. So in the real world, the data is never clearly separated. So you could have a tabular data table that has free text nodes columns, right? So you have to use separate solutions for that. And um, Huma platform combines the two of them and truly is an end-to-end -end solution. Lana, can you tell us how you're different from other AI companies? The difference is that we are a human-centric AI company. Most other AI companies look at the data, ingest tons of data, and let the data tell the story. And we, on the other hand, start with the questions domain experts ask. By starting with the questions, we're only looking at the data that's relevant. So reduce um, data complexity, increases accuracy. And also the questions domain experts ask have intelligence as well. So we incorporate that into the machine learning platform. And this human-centric approach permeates everything we do, even our name. Huma stands for human plus machine, where humans always come first. And lastly, as opposed to black box AI, we are explainable AI. Every answer has an explanation for users to verify and validate. Users can also provide feedback in real time to the answers. So this is very much a learning and um, living platform that continues to learn and get smarter. Very good. Tell us about your progress since 2018. So we launched in 2018 and since then had built multiple use cases across the pharma value chain from R&D, translational medicine, clinical development to medical affairs, commercial and real world evidence. And some of these use cases are already in production. 
So the words that customers um, describe our product are delighted, liberating, and game changer. So we will be presenting at D Pharma 2020. If you want to know more, please attend the presentation.